All right, guys. So long story short, about a year ago, some of you might remember I did a trip to Central Oregon uh, where I ran into a group of guys from uh, Overland Northwest, I believe it was. Uh, one of them named Steve recently posted on his Instagram about these gorilla clamps, which are uh, locks for, for roto packs. Um, talked about it briefly, seemed like a good idea. I reached out to Gorilla Clamp. Um, we got to talking and basically, so they make two types. This one is the deluxe and this is the standard, um, depending on which Rotopax handle you have. So single handle, deluxe is a double handle. So I have the deluxe, which these are not available yet. This is a pre-production one, I believe he said. Um, but he said there's basically no difference. So anyways, uh, set these out to try. So I'm going to uh, let's open it up what we got in here. Those are definitely going to be heavy duty enough to stop anybody from stealing or at least prevent anybody or slow anybody down. So, yeah, it just seems so simple that nobody else has come up with them. Anyways, uh, let's go throw them on the rig. Again, I got the deluxe. So let's get it on there and see how it works. And I'll see if I got a padlock to throw on there, but it seems like a pretty good deal. All right. Hopefully it's not too windy out here, so... Uh, managed to find a padlock. I did find the key. It was locked. So I have the key <laughs> and uh, got the lock. So I got my rotopax. It sits up there pretty much all the time. So let's uh, climb up there and throw this lock on it and see how it, uh, how it fits. All right. So as you can see, I've got the, the deluxe. It's the two handle model, um, which just has the, the retainer. So if you have the single handle one, you'll want the other lock that they have available. Again, this one isn't available currently. Um, I don't know what the exact status is. I think they were working on them or waiting on them, but uh, again, pre-production model. And I think it's going to be as simple as this lock is overkill, but it's what I had. I'm probably going to get a smaller one. Okay, um, yeah, jump to this side, take a look at this here. All right guys, it doesn't get much simpler than that. It just kind of clamps on there, it surrounds the bolt. That's not turning, it'll stop it from turning. Man, I can't believe it's that easy. Um, I know the name of the game isn't necessarily to stop everyone, but it will definitely slow people down. Um, hopefully to the point where it's just too much hassle. It's pretty incredible. All right, well, I guess that's all there is to that. All right guys, that's that. Like I said, there wasn't much to it. Um, actually way simpler and worked better than I expected. Um, I will probably run to Home Depot. I might run to Home Depot now and get a little more appropriate lock that's not such overkill. See it up there, but that lock just seems, I don't know, like too much. So I'm gonna go get a little lock for it. Um, big thanks to Gorilla Clamp. I'll link everything below. Uh, again, these deluxe ones aren't available at the moment. I checked before I, I left the house. They still weren't available, but last time I talked to him, I think he said they were in production or maybe getting coded. Um, anyways, sign up for their email list, uh, drop them an email. And when they're available, you can get them. Uh, they're, not, they're not very expensive. Um, so yeah, that's about all there is to it. I will, of course, update if there's any changes to it. Um, there's one little thing that I think could improve on it. I just don't know how you can do it. Uh, and maybe I'll, I'll think about that here on my drive. Maybe I'll follow up on this video. But for the most part, that's all there is. It's just a nice, simple lock. Um, I've been fortunate for the couple years I've ran that pack. It's never been locked uh, and nobody's stolen it. But I also tend to be really careful on where I park. So, uh, yeah, let me think about this, this little improvement. And if not, this will be the end of the video. Thanks. All right, guys. So as you saw, I got a little more appropriate of a lock for it, which doesn't stand out as bad. It's not overkill. Um, looks good. Pretty happy with that. And also while I was here, part of the reason I pulled into this parking lot, 
this might be the new first uh her first new tundra that i've seen up close it's somebody's personal rig i'm at the toyota dealership but it's got plates on it so i'm not going to go eyeball it but it's a nice truck i actually like it more in person than uh than i've seen in the pictures i haven't been super sold so anyways I think we're good to go uh the little bit of improvement that i thought about uh, i just filmed a short video to send to the guy who makes these it's really nothing major just one way to uh i think improve on it in the next phase but there it is hope you guys like it